Hello friends, I am M. V. Rao. Welcome to my channel. Hi friends. Today I would like to discuss something about and share my thoughts on supply chain in sustainable agriculture. What is this supply chain and what does it involve or who, who are the, all the partners in the supply chain? It's obvious we will be thinking it is a farmer that is the producer, then the buyer and the ultimate buyer or the consumer. But it is not as simple as that. A supply chain really involves farmer and vendors to him, then the transportation companies, the godowns or the warehouses and various distribution channels, the buyer, the repacking or the processor, whosoever it is, and thereafter the retail and ultimately the consumer. These are all involved in the supply chain on a continuous basis and it is expected in sustainable practices everyone should work with single-mindedness and due training has to be given to all these involved to attain their goals. So, how does the vendor matter? Yes, the vendor is supposed to be giving right goods to the farmer. I mean to say, supposing his uh, supplier of uh, seeds should give right seeds to the farmer. It is very important. He should follow some discipline and practices. And then, as a producer, the farmer has got a lot of responsibility to produce the right goods in the right way and then transportation companies should transport it properly. Imagine a situation where the transportation is done in a truck without a cover and some rain comes into picture. The whole goods will be damaged and they catch fungus and they are harmful. This is how a transportation, the transportation mechanism also should be properly disciplined in this regard. Then of course in the warehouse, how people stack it properly in the warehouse and in the right manner, the first come first served basis, how to organize the warehouses and clean environment. Imagine in some of the warehouses we see this rats and so many lizards which spoil the goods they should not be there with the warehouses should be kept perfectly in a wonderful condition and thereafter it should reach the distributors or the repacking organizations where they have to follow their own discipline as far as sustainable practices are concerned and ultimately when it reaches the supermarkets or the retailers that must be given in a very good condition, acceptable and very healthy condition. One example is supposing in the supermarket, the staff involved do not understand the importance of the whole phenomenon and supposing, imagine a situation where human seeds our regular cumin seeds are kept adjacent to a flavor or some soaps, in between some soaps. After some time it is likely that the soap smell or the flavor smell shall be entering into the cumin seeds and it will become unpalatable and unhealthy too. So sustainable practices start with everyone in the supply chain and everyone should be given 
proper training to achieve the goals. We'll speak of training at a later stage. So, thank you.